which is good. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's so many things here that, uh, I'm, <laughs> need to be focused in. So, uh, th this is my fucking dude right here. Fucking zigzag. Someone who will actually fucking, uh, n not just listen to, uh, <laughs> wisdom, but he integrates it. He, he makes it real. He, uh, lives it. So shout out to you, dude, because that's, that's what it's all fucking about, bro. And uh, I'll just try to do some shout outs real quick at the beginning. Uh, shout out to fucking Mayan Jin, dude. Hell yeah. Love talking to that dude. Shout out to Cortese. Keeping it, keeping it fucking reals and, and loose and free flowing. Of course, shout out to Genevieve. Shout out to Danny. <laughs> of course. Skyhopper, Junie, Angie, all you peoples. I'm always with you. You know how we do. So yeah, we're getting into this here a little bit. Uh... About the power of the mind, uh, wh where the template starts, and how that imagery translates into your reality. And it all starts with the mental projections. And I don't know if we'll get into it, but this goes right into you know what, what we're fucking going through collectively, which is just um, a, a calling, a pulling of awarenesses. Uh, people who, who have no really no or little ability to create and manifest and image for themselves. They allow the things, the systems that have been set up to do that for them. And uh, so we are where we are at right now collectively. So yeah, we'll we'll get into this. I'll, I'll try not to uh, go too deep, cause uh, it's not gonna make sense if I do. So uh, I I gotta keep it on a certain level. Because it's already created here. It's already done. You know what I'm saying? And with the intention of making sure that I can get my own food, my own herbs, because I got sections where I'm growing just pure. <laughs> the, the earth is doing its thing. I don't touch certain herbs and, and we, what we call weeds, I let them grow in certain areas in my yard and I let them grow. And what's happening is that I use those herbs, I make teas or I just basically eat them raw. Or I... <laughs> so, so yeah, we, we jump from fucking mentality to uh, manifest reality to uh, literally... Whenever you uh, walk the earth and, and connect with the earth, like it will, it will grow for you the things that you need, like the medicine, the food. The food is the medicine. Uh, the the birds, the carriers will will come and plant the seeds for you. It's a very, very magical process that happens, and I encourage everyone to engage in this magic and this process. Um, because this is a time of transformation. Uh, so many people are ripe right now for transformation. All that's really needed is a little bit of. Uh, disconnect from what you're you know used to engaging which we're you know beautifully being forced into a lot of us so we have the uh we have the chance we have the option 
to engage differently, to engage in different ways, to engage different things, to integrate and transmute and transform in different ways, to take in uh, information right now that I, and I know a lot of people are taking in information right now that they're, they are not used to taking in, and it's a lot for a lot of people right now, and I recognize this, I realize this, and I encourage this, uh, keep going, ground the things that you are realizing and learning, ground them, and eventually they will become, you know, a lifestyle, anything lasting, we, we have to, <laughs> we have to make it, uh, a part of us. Anything that you you really want to learn or become really <laughs> uh, proficient or efficient or learned, uh, artistic, uh, it has, you have to, uh, meld with it, so a lot of what's happening right now is a lot of mind melding, on a lot of different levels, mix them in with my, with my salads, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yes, that's that's beautiful because right now, like especially uh, for a lot of us right now, it's you know spring, uh, supposedly, right? With this whack weather that we've been having for I don't know how many years now. But uh, I've been telling people like nature uh, will, will spring forth what you need, you know, when you need it. So right now, if there's things coming forth from the ground, like. Realize this, I was just talking with my dad recently, I'm like, dude, just right in your yard, like, there's chives, like a whole little, like, thing of chives right there, and I, I picked one for him, just, just one little one, <laughs> one little, uh, piece of it, and, uh, those things last, like, they, they have the, uh, that, aspect of taste that, that is uh, lasting and, and chives are very powerful as well just right along there with onions and even garlic they're powerful cleansers I'm like dude this is you know why why do you think these things are popping up right now and I'm like dandelions dude the dandelions right now and I'm like there's nettle everywhere so just just grab some fucking chives grab a couple of dandelion heads or if you want the leaves the fucking greens are beautiful as well grab some nettle and just start munching on it and then that combination creates a different translation and actualization in the body and it that's that's the purest form of medicine that you can find You know, some like yesterday I had eggs, uh, you know, from the farm. And what I do is I take the herbs and I... And thank you for mentioning the eggs, because that's something big time that's coming up for a lot of people right now. And that's powerful, powerful stuff. Uh, just boil them in, in the shell and you can just eat them. Uh, peel off the shelling and just eat them. And that's... That, that's that's really like <laughs> all the fucking energy you need like just just in form of like food and energy like you just need that and then just your herbs and regulate and that, that's all you fucking need and whatever you want to do with that if you want to just
be at a certain mass, be at a certain energy level, or if you want to gain uh, mass and energy and uh, strength, you can translate it. And we'll get into that in another video, because that's, that's currently what I'm doing right now, is gaining mass, gaining strength, realizing the things that are needed, realizing the things that really aren't needed, like, like supplementing. Like, I used to be so fucking big into supplementation, like, oh my gosh. And, and I mean, even at this point, like, I still have all these herbs that, that I use, but uh, not near as much. Uh, nowhere close to as much as what I used to. And it's, it's all about engagement. How you utilize these things. So. If you're really looking to like. Uh, utilize foods. As a fuel source. Uh, for a sp specific reason. It's all about timing. Timing of the integration of the intake and timing of the output of the utilization so we have all these strong men out here the world's strongest man uh who who like they're basically just like a large part of their world is just eating but whenever you refine that process so that every time that you eat you immediately translate that into building of the body building of the muscle building of the energetic system then you don't really need to eat all that much 2020 refinement transformation and transmutation of the ways of the old, the, well, it's new ways that we were taught, and then we're, we are remembering the, the old ways that were always there, that we've been led to believe, you know, our uh, cavemen, and oh, they, they, they didn't know what they were doing, we were just, you know, we weren't evolved yet. And that couldn't be further from the truth. We were uh, created perfect to begin with. And the degradation happened. <sighs> because of the folly. And this is also something we will get into later. In later videos. The fall and folly of men. And the repeated cycles. And ultimately, why we keep repeating them. I, I throw it in, uh, mix it in all together, with, and I, I, you know, you just eat it. I don't cook the herbs most of the time, though. You know what I'm saying? But uh... yeah, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep stopping every now and then because just spitting out facts after facts. But yeah, that that's the beauty of having a uh, you know a food forest or a, a garden forest is that you just you walk amongst your your herbs and your fruits and your vegetation and you take in as is needed. Like you are drawn towards, and, and you can you can you don't need to have like stuff that you grow even necessarily, which is going to be the most potent, powerful medicine if you do grow it yourself. And grow it in a specific way. With planting the seed in a specific way. Then it's going to be imbued with your DNA. And draw forth from all of the essences that are the universe and reality. And bring forth to you. Food. Medicine. That's specifically for your body. Not just your physical body. All your bodies. 
but uh, it was all created perfect in the beginning, so we don't necessarily need to go and cook things. And yes, cooking and alchemy are, is an art form, and it's beautiful, and it can be very potent medicine as well, but the most potent medicine is just going out in nature, being drawn towards the herbs and the pathways that you are led to, and taking in here and there, of, and, and even certain combinations, like I like I said at the beginning, uh, like a certain certain herb here, a certain uh, flower here, and just munching on that as you continue to walk your path. So uh, we get to a point where we are attuned with our bodies to the point where we know what it needs and says and we are we, we allow the process to happen to where we are drawn towards certain herbs and we just pick them and that's that's what fucking animals do. That's how animals heal themselves and rid themselves of certain uh things, obstructions. There's a lot that can be learned from animals and how they engage nature because they are finely attuned with it. Uh, unless it's uh, super domesticated animals and then they start to portray the uh, mannerisms of the people that they are attached to. Um, that comes with a little bit of knowledge, but you have to understand what you know out here, you let it go to acquire a spiritual gnosis of it. And, and this goes right into <laughs> what I've been engaging recently with Genevieve is the power of letting shit go. Because I've been um, kind of sending her messages about you know, our true past, our true history, um, about how some of it is very dark and corrupt. And, you know, uh, it's just a beautiful reflection that happened. It's like, yes. Um, and this is within all of us. And if we are not willing to acknowledge this within us, then, then we cannot let it go. So, so first comes the acceptance of the acknowledgement that it is there, that why it is there, and, and really, and I, and, I, and I know she knows this, and, and a lot of you know this, but before the release happens, the recognition has to happen. Yes, so we can have a release, but we can feel like a deep release, a powerful release happen, but there's still going to be something there until we realize why it is there in the first place. And this is what I mean when I say like our true origins, our true past. We have to realize so we can learn from it. So that not not, not only that we can release it, but so that we can teach you know uh the the following generations. why it happened why you should never hold on to that shit to begin with the, the folly the fall we have to uh, recognize where the fall began we, this is just ties ultimately back to the origins the origin of the fall, the origin of the folly, of the degradation point. And it's not about getting caught up in anything. You, we, we want to allow this flow process to happen. So we, we flow with it. And even if we don't understand something, yes, it may sit there and agitate us a little bit. And we don't quite understand it. But still flow with it. You know, flow in and out of it. Like, you know, 
get to a point where you can with where you're at and just continue to flow with it. Let it go and it will come back whenever you're ready to have certain uh, vantage points uh, open up and avenues and pathways open up so that you can integrate more. This is an integration process happening. So a lot of things right now seem to be uh, being taken away from us, but in reality, we're being given an opportunity right now to start to really dive down deep and go within. Not necessarily just go within, but and that's a part of it, but realize where the true quintessential essence, you know, fucking reality is, where it lies. Disconnecting from this fucking artificial matrix, that, that's the, like, essentially what's happening right now is it's a force disconnect that's happening. So uh, it's, it's up to every individual right now how they want to switch this around and engage in different ways, how, how they want to, how they choose to flip it for a, a positive outcome. This is a big opportunity right now. <coughs> I swallowed some stuff. <coughs> so, uh, I, I don't have the coronas, the, the coronas, the uh, but I do have the crown. The co the coronation indeed is happening, uh, crowning uh, of each individual right now has the opportunity to crown themselves with an aware with a new awareness, a new type of awareness right now. It's like you let one thing go, and that's why they say love. If it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. So you let what you think you know go, and the, the real form of, of, of information will actually come to you. See, And this goes back into uh, what, what Ziggs has talked about in previous videos with, with the, uh, the downloads and the integration. And like a lot of times, you know, uh, people... They have to let shit go before things can come forth and come in, uh, like new levels of integration. So, for a lot of people, that takes the form of having some kind of a breakdown happen, uh, either inwards, and it's, it always stems from the inside, first and foremost. But, you know, a lot of people be so caught up in the outside that, you know, there's there's things that fall on the outside. And, oh, my God, it's, it's a cataclysm. It's a catastrophe. But, really, it's an opportunity for an opening to happen. The information forms your, it's information. And if you, if you hold on to it, because everything is belief. But if you hold on to that, it's just forming blockages. So you're not going to be open-minded. See, when people come out and say, I'm going to blow the lid off this shit, and they start mm -hmm. wanting to talk about what this shit really is about out here when it comes down to this, you know, coronavirus or COVID-19, you know what I'm saying? Even saying that, you're coming from the wrong space, if you really want to ask me, because saying, I'm going to blow the lid off this shit, you really don't know anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> blowing the lid off this shit would be really blowing the lid off this oh. shit, coming out... <laughs> Blowing the lid off of your shit. Uh, shout out to Daniel Pinchbeck. Uh, Breaking Open the Mind. Check out that fucking book, people. That, that goes into like deep level of psychedelics and uh, engagements. Uh, breaking, uh, Breaking Open the Head. Well, one of those two. But uh, that, that's what it's all about. Uh, that, that's the whole purpose of shamanics and plant spirit medicines is to dissolve uh, the illusion that you have been led to believe in to get you into that direct communion of engagement and then you start to figure shit out for yourself 
the main purpose right now in the world of psychedelics and plant spirit medicines and shamanics is to get people to start to engage themselves and to engage the natural reality of the world and start to, to start to think for themselves. That's, that's level one, like very simplistic shit. And then you get to a deeper engagement and deeper uh, gnosis that happens with them. And do, do you need to engage psychedelics to access these things? No. The psychedelics, uh, plant spirit medicines, help remind you what is inside of you. First and foremost, I say this to fucking everyone that I have this conversation with. You have it all already within you. You have all the fucking chemistry set, all the tools already inside you. The best that you can get from anything on the outside is a reminder of what the fuck is inside. Realize that. <laughs> and engage that. On your fucking crown chakra and seeing the big picture of what the fuck is going on out here. Hell yeah, my dude. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you can go into all these systems. The thing is that we're so uh, uh, projected into looking at all the systems outside of us. The governmental system, the education system. We want to look at, uh, you know, like if you work in a job, you know all the different departments. Those are all different systems. And when you're a manager, now you're managing all these systems. And when you become a CEO, right, you're managing, you overlook all the systems. But for you to be a CEO of your real fucking... Because yes. you're, you're nothing but a big bag of systems too. You got your central nervous system, <laughs> your skeletal system, circulatory system, lymphatic system, digestive system. Uh, you know what I mean? You got all. And that's just the physical he's talking about. There, there's many systems that that regulate, and uh, it goes back into uh, what really correlates into these systems. What truly regulates these systems is the spiritual, is the subtle realms, the subtle energies. So uh, get back into where does that stem from? Where does that correlate from? Get into Wim Hof breathing. Dive down deep inside of yourself, inside of your breath. Tap into, start to, start to utilize the pressures. Utilize the bandhas. Utilize pressure locks. If you don't know what bandhas are, look into yoga. And start engaging these things. And start to realize that you can stimulate your organs on command. You can stimulate certain chemicals, certain... And it's not about, it's not about the fucking chemicals. Yes, we are a chemical set. We, we have access to every fucking chemical within us. Yes, the plant spirit medicines help remind us of these chemicals. But that's not, that's not the main thing. main thing is the uh, felt experience, the realization that through a higher sense of engagement, a pure sense of thought, these chemicals happen on their own. And uh, I, I was in uh, one of Cortese's lives uh, recently. And I was talking about how, you know, we were talking about parasites and and I was talking about how, you know, it's it's a mind that it first stems from a mind parasite and he was saying how uh you know, for a lot of people it's not gonna be that way and I'm like that's absolutely true. Uh it's they're gonna have to start with, with the physical, with the body, and then work their way up into this realization that you know, it's all mental to begin with. But, yes, like, if we come from a mentality that, you know, we're not going to let parasites in, or that we don't have parasitic thought forms, parasitic energetics enter in, because that's truly where physical parasites attach, is they attach to the spirit, to the mental, to the thought forms. So once you get your mind clean and clear, then you don't have to worry about uh, any, anything on the physical, like uh, in the form of, of vampirism or parasites. But 
in order to get to that point mentally, you have to start doing the work physically. So that's basically what, what we were kind of like agreeing towards is that you have to start physically, you have to start clearing stuff out physically so that you can get that mental clarity and so you can realize that the power that you have over the physical and it starts with the mental. And then you don't start to engage certain thought forms anymore. You don't start to engage certain parasitic or vampiric energies anymore. And so that physical manifestation is not going to happen inside of you anymore. Don't take my word for anything. This is just, you know, something you can experience for yourself. Alright, so, as per usual, I would draw a card here. Judgment, judge not, but but in reality, uh, realize that it's not about judging or not judging. It's about how you. Uh, it's not, it's not even judge. It's how you perceive, how you choose to. you choose to uh, correlate with, with the things that you perceive doesn't doesn't necessarily need to be called judgment it just is a uh, that that's an aspect of the mind of, of how we perceive things uh, how, how we choose to navigate there doesn't need to be judging because we can. We, it's a choice. We choose how to perceive something. We choose how to engage it, and then we flow into that. We don't sit there and and, and fucking uh, fester and, and uh, you know and tighten the grip of something because then you don't let it go, and it just it becomes knots inside of your body, inside of the mental sphere, inside of the spiritual, and that manifests in the body, and and collecting uh, blockages that, that compound upon themselves within the body. Judgment. Anubis. Jackal had a god of the Egyptian underworld. Looms over a crowd of waiting souls. Each will have their moment of reckoning, their lives measured against his feather of truth. This card's appearance signifies that you are ripe for transformation. You stand at the threshold of a great change, yet this change awaits something before it can happen. Maybe a crucial decision on your part, or the arrival of a piece of important information. You may also need to reckon with your past before you are truly ready to move on. Judgment calls on you to open your eyes to a whole new way of looking at life. To move into an awareness of something bigger. You have the potential now to be reborn into a more meaningful existence. Will you heed this call to awaken? Will you flow with it 
or will you grasp upon the uh, the banks and the systems set up to help you to to tell you what you need to do or will you release and see finally see the structure set up And that's going towards the people that, that are caught up in this in this fucking shit show that's going on right now. But for the ones that see through it, uh, just just fucking enjoy it. Like this is beautiful right now. And this is what I'm hearing from people. It's like, oh man, this is great. <laughs> I enjoy the stillness and the silence and the beauty of it. Uh, there's less pollution going on. It's fucking awesome. Wouldn't it be great if it was always like that? We can actually smell the roses and smell the plants around us. Without all the fucking uh, smog and exhaust fumes going on. Steadily, slowly and surely, we are getting there. And, uh... It's 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 gonna be made pretty obvious. I feel like it's gonna be pretty soon. I don't know time wise. Um, I'm timeless, so time really has no relation with me. Um, I look to correlations. So uh, it seems to be that things are going to be t pointing towards a certain reality very quickly and that's exciting <laughs> so yeah continue to flow regardless of what you are being told that you should know about let that shit go and just continue to continue to live your life and love Love what you are living. Otherwise, what the, what's the fucking point? Live it and love it. Peace.